Welcome back! If you're like me and every now and again you find dirt from your sensor or from your lens on your images, then you can use one of these three simple techniques to remove it. Let's get going! The first way I'm going to show you is also by far the easiest. The only thing we need for it to work is all the information on a separate layer. For that, just hit Command or Control, Alt, Shift and E on your keyboard to create a star visible, which essentially copies all the information you have onto a different layer. With that selected, go to the top left where you can find the patch tool in your tools bar right here. With that selected, move into the spots, zoom in and get close, and once you have found them, just circle them with the patch tool. And once you have made the selection, just drag it to an area which looks like the one you would like to. Once you have done that, just release, hit Command or Control D on your keyboard to deselect, and you'll see the spot has disappeared. Let me do that for the other one also. I'll just circle around it, drag it up to a different area, hit Command and D on my keyboard, and the spots have disappeared using the patch tool in Photoshop. The second good way to remove spots from your image is, instead of using the patch tool, to use the actual spot healing brush tool. For that, also make sure that you have all the information on a separate layer, and then on the left hand side just select the spot healing brush tool in the same place where you had just previously selected the patch tool. Once you have that, you will see that you get some sort of brush looking, well, brush, and with that you just have to go over the areas where you would remove the patch from. If we do that, and it might take some try and error, you'll see that the, uh, the spot healing brush tool is actually quite smart and removes the spots just fine. Let me just do that for our big one right here as well. And you might have to go over a couple of areas every now and again to make it look good, but after a couple of tries, you'll see that it removes the spots just fine. The last technique I want to show you for today is the clone stamp tool. For that, there is no need to have all information on a separate layer, but you will require a new layer. Let's create, create one by hitting Command or Control, Alt, Shift and N on your keyboard, which will create a new layer right here. Go to the left hand side then, or hit S on your keyboard to select the clone stamp tool from the toolbar here. And then, once you have that, you'll see that it looks like a brush, just like a brush, and that's good, because what we have to do now is we can select a source in our image which looks clean, and then apply that onto an area which has dirt. So for instance, if I were to decide that that area here looks relatively clean, I can hold the Alt button on my keyboard and click, in which case I define that as my source and now I can transfer that to a different area of my image. So for instance, if I were to say have an opacity of 20% and I decide to go over that area a couple of times, you can see that I'm using the source here and I'm applying it to the area where the spot is currently located. Now you might want to change targets every now and again, so you might want to adapt your source to make sure it blends nicely. So this is a technique which, takes, which actually does take a little bit longer, but as I said, in more complex situations where the, the given tools which do everything automatically cannot help you anymore, this one is a very nice companion to just get rid of these kind of things if the background is a little bit more complex. All right. And if we, after just 20, 10 seconds or so, if I look at the before and after, I'm already quite good in getting, getting rid of the dots in my image. Now there we go, these were three simple techniques to get rid of dirt spots on your images. Remember, you can either use the patch tool, or you use the spot healing brush tool, or as an alternative option, you use the clone stamp tool. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. Other than that, I hope the tip was useful to at least some of you. And if you have any questions or comments, just drop them down in any comment section in either the blog or YouTube, of course. And I am happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, have a good day, happy processing, and see you next time. Bye!